Guatarati. So I'm here again to sample junk food which I found here in Angola. This is now the fourth time that I've made one of these videos and I only keep making them because I keep hearing from people that they want to see more. Uh, maybe you know that this is just easy content for me to create because there's no dearth of junk food as I've indicated before. Well, this time I have five different products that I will sample, so let's get started with the first one. There is a little story behind this first item, this red bolinho, or cupcake, bolu is cake. Inu it makes something small or cute, so bolinho is, is what we would call a cupcake. And, Come to think of it, why do we call them cupcakes? Uh, is it because they're about the size of a cup? Because they were originally baked inside cups? Uh, well, I guess there's a story in there somewhere. Anyway, these are being sold around this time because of Valentine's Day, so they're colored red. I bought a dozen of them for a party that I held for my students yesterday, and they turned out to be really popular because uh, there was only one left by the end of the day. So that one I have saved for this video. So, I, what, what are my expectations? Uh, I, what I'm wondering is whether I'm going to detect just the taste of red food coloring or if there might actually be some kind of fruit flavoring to this red cupcake. Then again, maybe it just tastes like a cupcake, nothing special beyond the color itself. Uh, I guess I'd be willing to settle for that, so give it a taste. Okay, first thing. So thick. Like, this... This feels a little bit heavy, and boy, it is just packed hard. It is like a biscuit. It is so tough. It's not a moist cupcake at, by any means at all. So you kind of get something really substantial to put on your stomach when you have one of these. And the taste is nothing unusual. It just, just tastes like cake. So, okay, it, it, it does its job. Uh, what more can I ask for, I suppose? All right. Consider that a success. Move on to the next item. And if you remember the last video, you may be thinking, well, di didn't you drink a red cola then? Well, yes, but if you recall, it was a red cola with coconut flavoring. This one is just red cola, so strictly red. And it, if you want to have an idea of just how inexpensive cola is around here, this is the equivalent of 20 cents Canadian. How much is this? 250 milliliters. So, yeah, yeah, could, could you imagine getting a 250 milliliter can for that price in Canada? Unlikely. So, I mean, I've already had the coconut version, so I know this should taste like before, except without coconut. Still, and it smells, you know, like your store brand cola. Yeah, 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 it's perfectly good cola. I, I have to say, though, if I'm going to buy more red, I, I would want to go for that coconut, because the coconut adds a little bit of extra zing that you don't get from your run-of-the-mill cola. Still, perfectly fine cola, nothing wrong with it. I don't think. Wait a second. Is that a little flat, or is that... No, not flat. Not flat at all. No, no. So, yeah, so it gets my seal of approval. Very good. On to the next item. For the longest time now, I have seen these things at the till in the shop right, and gone, huh, eh, what exactly are they? And I decided it was finally time to try one of them. They have a few different flavors. This particular TV bar is tropical coconut, 
crunchy rice puffs in smooth milk chocolate. And it is made by Beacon, South African company. I've had some of their chocolate on these videos before. So, I mean, this, this will probably be a lot like that Nosh bar, which I also got from the ShopRite till, you know? Just slightly different ingredients in it. And you, you have to figure the marketing on this, huh? TV bar. So you understand how they're trying to get into people's heads, right? You're in the grocery store, planning to go home and watch TV, when what do you see but TV bar, the official chocolate bar of watching television. So naturally, you plunk down your change and you take one home, right? I, I mean, I assume that's what they're thinking. Well, I, I don't have a TV, so I'm sorry I'm doing this wrong, but uh, this, this ought to taste pretty good. As we've established, I like coconut, so... Hmm. 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 Interesting. Um, it's a crunchy bar. Like, if you're in North America, I think a crunchy bar, except with coconut. Only you don't really d detect the taste of coconut until you're done. It's, it's the aftertaste where you can finally pick up the coconut. The chocolate and the crisps just overwhelm everything else while you're chewing. So, uh, not a bad little chocolate bar. Uh, not, not really what I was expecting, though. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in it. Maybe the other TV bars will be more to my liking. But if I wanted a coconut bar, I'd probably go for that Nikki bar that I had before, because that had a lot more coconut in it. Okay, on to the next item. So there are a lot of products here in Angola with that name Blue, and it's usually some sort of fruit drink, or rather a soft drink that has fruit flavoring. My favorite Blue is the Coconut Pineapple Cousigan Coconut. This one is just pineapple. You'll see uh, ananas. Uh, Pineapple, it also says it in English, in case you didn't know. And the thing about it is that it's pulpa, as in pulp. So what I'm wondering is, is this a legitimate fruit drink? Not fruit flavoring, but an actual fruit soda with real pineapple juice in it. And even pulp from the pineapple, because... That would be different, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So, well, why am I just talking about it? Why aren't I trying it right now? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly what I expected. So this is the same as buying a thing of pineapple juice, except that it's sparkling. That's basically it. But there's nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine drink. If you like pineapple, and uh, I do like pineapple, so very good. On to the next one. Now, of course, I opened this by noting the holiday of Valentine's Day, which happens tomorrow. So you may be a little surprised to see the last one is this, an Easter candy. Yes, Easter candy is already on sale here in Labongu. For Valentine's Day. You, you thought things were wacky in Canada? Well, hey man, in Angola, they put out the Easter candy in early February. So, I mean, this is a uh, mallow. It says that it is milk, chocolate, marshmallow, eggs. Uh, and I read that as code for just marshmallow surrounded by chocolate. It's made by Beacon, same people who did the TV bar. So uh, I know what to expect in terms of the quality of chocolate. As to the marshmallow, well, I, I guess I'm just hoping for something fluffy and a little bit chewy. That'd be nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Although the chocolate really overwhelms the marshmallow. It's hard to appreciate the marshmallow just because the taste of chocolate is so strong. Eh. Oh well. And that makes five things that I have sampled. So, as I say, I will continue making these videos as long as there is something weird and wonderful to sample. And uh, at this rate, I don't expect I'm going to run out. So, thank you again for watching. Ciao for now.